everyone. Welcome to the Lori Whitlock YouTube channel today. Thank you so much for joining us. I've got a new card style that I want to show you and we're going to put one together so you know how to assemble this card. It's called a curved pop-up card and here are some of the samples in front of me. Um, basically this card lays completely flat for mailing and then when you pull it out of the envelope it's got just enough of a curve to it there and a bend on the back that it will stand up and make a really cute presentation. Um, in fact, let me pull a couple of them out of the envelope for you so you can take a look at that. These are A2, they're in an A2 envelope and that's what they look like coming out of the envelope. There's some panels on the back where you can write a sentiment. Some of them include a sentiment on the front. Some of them include a sentiment on the back and you could certainly add a print and cut sentiment to the back of any of these or you can hand write a sentiment, either one. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this one out of the envelope as well. This is a cute Father's Day, best dad ever, and a darling little lawnmower. Isn't that so much fun? So this is a really simple card to put together. So if you're looking for something that's quick and easy, this is a great card style. Now, the little embellishments that go onto the card are going to uh, be the most time consuming to layer and create. Some of them are a little more simple than others, like this one's fairly simple pieces. Um, something like the flower bundles are going to be a few more little pieces, but super, super cute uh, once those are layered up. And I think you'll really love how they look once they're put together. So we're gonna put together this happy summer one here with this darling little beach bag. Um, this beach bag is all one layer here on the back and it's got all the cutouts so you know right where to place everything on the front. You're just going to go ahead and layer up your navy piece and your white piece and your handle and the little dots there and your flip-flops and your sunglasses. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and glue on the covering panels here on this little piece. It's got a little handle that sticks up here. That's just so that we have a little extra space to glue our little embellishment onto. So that's actually on all of these. And I mean, just so you can see, there's lots of different embellishments we've got that you can put onto these. In fact, you could use other things that you already have if you've got something specific. These styles are also in the shop um, for Mother's Day. So if you're looking for something for Mother's Day, this is a great uh, card. I've also put some other really um, timely themes in the shop right now. We've got Thanks mm -hmm. Teacher. I know end of school is just around the corner. We've also got a congrats grad. So I've got a senior this year that's graduating. So it's a very appropriate card to give to her and her friends. Uh, we've got Best Mom Ever best dad ever with Mother's Day and Father's Day coming up and always happy birthday. Um, there's, we're always looking for cute happy birthday cards. And then there's this floral card here. I didn't include a sentiment for the front. You could certainly type one out and cut that in your cutting software. It could say thank you or hello friend or just keep it blank and use a cute pattern paper and then just customize the sentiment on the back or your own handwriting. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these samples off to the side. And I will show you how to put together this cute, happy summer one. So there's a card base included in each of the files. There's um, the embellishment piece that I've already talked about, just how to layer that up. And there's a crossbar that looks like this and the little internal box piece that looks like this. So you'll wanna go ahead and fold that card base in half like this. Go ahead and apply those two covering panels to the front. On the back, I haven't put the panels on quite yet because we're going to um, wrap, I'll show you on this one here, we're gonna wrap that band across and glue it on the back before we put those covering panels on the back. You can glue it on the front, but I think it looks a little neater on the front with it glues to the back. So uh, you can make your own decision on that, but I kind of like the sturdiness and just the way it looks. So then on this center little piece, just go ahead and fold those two glue tabs back. You'll notice there's two score marks down the middle here. They make kind of a flat piece on the front and that's what your embellishment is going to glue to is this flat surface here. So just make sure that that is all folded correctly. Looks kind of like a little book shape inside there. And then we have these two glue tabs on our cross bar curved piece on the front of our card. And the happy uh, summer sentiment is cut out of cardstock on my samples, 
but I think it would be wonderful to cut that out of vinyl and apply that to this strip of paper if you wanted to do so. Um, vinyl is really fun to work with. It cuts really cleanly on cutting machines and it's easy to apply to cardstock. It might be even easier than uh, cardstock lettering. Uh, some of the letters are hooked together and some aren't, but if you're dealing with vinyl, it's a little bit easier to, to put that down. Uh, totally up to you. You can leave the sentiment off as well and just put a sentiment on the back. So now we're going to assemble this. This inner piece here, you're just going to work with your card laying flat. You're going to want to make sure you center this. That's really important. So you're just going to glue those glue tabs down where your card is laying flat. Make sure you don't stand the card up or anything because then it won't go down flat to go in the envelope. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some adhesive on those two glue tabs. And then I'm going to line the bottom up with the bottom of the card and I'm going to center this area right here with that center of the card and just make sure that flush bottom is flush. And let's go ahead and glue that down like that. So you can see that that's how how it's working. It lays nice and flat. No gapping or buckling there. And then when you stand it up, it makes a nice little box inside of there. Then our front strip is just going to glue around the edges of the card, just like that. And everything should lay nice and flat. So we're just going to flip that over. You'll want to make sure the bottom is nice and flush. If you have it hang over, it won't fit in an A2 envelope. So make sure that's nice and flush. Make sure you get your adhesive on the correct side of the cardstock. Go ahead and place the bottom edge on our strip and just fold that right around just like so. And line up that other side, making sure again that our card is nice and flat as we work so that we know it'll go into an envelope. So now it's time to put our cute graphic on the front of our card. Um, the one thing to note is you don't want your graphics to hang off above the card edge. So just make sure it's either flush or below because if it's up above, then it will not fit in your envelope and close. Um, so just make sure you pull that down far enough. I'm just going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the center strip here and on that paddle shape here. And then I'm going to make sure those handles don't hang above the card edge and go ahead, center things and press down. And it's that simple. There's our cute happy summer card. I love it. It's so much fun. Oh, now here on the back, we do have some white covering panels in the file. I've gone ahead and put adhesive on this one. I'm just going to flip that over. And there's a tiny, it's not even an eighth, it's a half of an eighth. So a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. So center that in that space and go ahead and glue that down. I made that a little bit smaller just to cover up that uh, glue tab the best that we can. Let's go ahead and put adhesive on the second covering panel for the back. Again, if you wanted to add a sentiment and do a print and cut on these, it would be totally appropriate and very cute. Um, I put a sentiment on one side and then sign the other side, kind of like I did on the original Mother's Day card set. Um, you can just type with any font in your software and create that sentiment. So here's our cute card. Let me just slip that into an envelope so you can kind of see how that all works. This will slide right into an A2 envelope, just like so. Pressing it down nicely, it fits perfectly, and then it's ready to mail. And when it pulls out, it just kind of pops into shape and will stand right up. So fun. I hope you guys love making these cards. I've got several themes in the store right now. If you love them, let me know and I can make more. Um, especially love that cute happy birthday one. 
and all the Mother's Day ones. And like I've got all these different Mother's Day icons that can be swapped into these as well. So you could also interchange some of these. Like if you liked that grass background, you could certainly put the tulip pot in there. That would be darling and use the best mom ever sentiment on the front. There's just a lot of fun options and you could always grab graphics from any of my previous uh, projects. I'm just going to reach over here and grab a couple right now. Not that it's Easter time, but wouldn't it be cute to add a cute Easter bunny or a basket of flowers? Um, there's just so many fun graphics that you could grab from some of my other files. So I hope you guys love making these and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in another video. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get all of our current updates and newest videos. Have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.